Hey guys, it's Neil and Ryan from Premium Mortgage. And today we're going to talk about, oh, I'm sorry, Ryan's going to talk about credit. I always talk about mortgages. Ryan's going to talk about credit because he's obsessed with it. Go, yeah. Ryan. So a lot of friends have reached out to me about credit recently because I've been posting so much stuff and it's because I've learned so much stuff. I've really taken some time and I've really dived deep into all the different benefits, the aspects, everything about credit, how it helps you, how it hurts you. He has 750 scores. 780, but nobody's counting. So what I want to do is talk about the difference between debit, credit, and charge cards. The first is the debit card. A debit card is real simple. I'm going to cover the numbers not so you can really see it. There's not much you can do with a debit card. The debit card is basically money in the bank. When you use it, it comes out pretty much immediately. Sometimes it'll take 24 to 48 hours, but it does hit your account immediately, unlike a check where it could take a couple days. There's no real value unless, like my good friend April said, if you're not disciplined, having a debit card is great because you can't spend yeah, more than what you, you have. you can overdraw it. You can overdraw Very it, easy. and that's something to watch out for. Yeah. But there's no real value to the debit card other than it's money in the bank, and that's how you pay it's for it. It's not helping your credit. It's not helping your credit at all. The credit card, you're basically borrowing money. And typically it's borrowing it for 30 days. You have a term, let's just say it's January 1st to February 1st. You borrow the money for a term. If you pay the balance, there's no interest. But let's say you take $1,000, you spend $1,000 that month, and you only pay 800 bucks, you now have to pay interest on the money spent in total. So that's something you wanna think about. When I first saw interest being paid out at the end of the month, because I didn't pay my balance in full, that bothered me. I didn't want to pay $47 just because I didn't pay it when I had the money in the bank. Cash back and points. My friends know I love the cash back and points. I flew four times last year for free. I got $800 back from another credit card just by cashing in my points. These are all things. And, and here's an example, getting rid of this. This is an Uber card. I use this for dining. 5% back on all dining. This here is an Amex blue card. 6% back on all dining. Uh, grocery store purchases and then this is my Sam's card six percent back on all gas this is money this is free money guys if you're not utilizing this to your advantage you're just pissing money away the last thing and my favorite is going to be the charge card the charge card you have to have higher credit scores you Neil, know, tell them what you bought with a charge card I bought a Harley Davidson about 15 years ago on an American Express card um, there is no spending limits that's the scary part about a charge card it's Usually when you say charge card, Ryan's talking about American Express cards because you have to pay the balance off at the end of the month unless you have a predetermined limit ahead of time. Yeah, you can actually make arrangements with them. If you tell them you're going to make a very large purchase, they will allow you to, to spread that payment out a little bit. But it's not like a traditional card where you can pay the minimum payment, $25, indefinitely. And they love it because they're going to collect and accumulate interest every month on you. With the charge card, it's different. Well, American Express also has a black card. Now you have to be asked to get a black card. Yeah, that's it's like a hundred thousand dollars a month spending limit. That's out of our league. That is. But the most important part of this whole conversation, guys, is understanding that a credit card is really the key to building credit, establishing credit if you don't have it, and it's also part of the key to getting your scores where you need to be so that you can qualify for that mortgage. So please, if you have questions about credit cards, if you have questions about credit in general ask us that's what we're here for we're here to help educate you guys we spend a lot of time in our off time learning researching understanding the value behind credit cards and what they can do for you so give us a call shoot us a message continue to reach out to us and we'll be sure to help you in any way we can thanks Thank guys you. have a great day